Why? Hello and welcome everybody. Also, good morning. So today I wanted to go ahead and talk about kind of some entry level crafting for newer players in the Path of Exile. Unfortunately, a lot of this crafting will not directly work for SSF. It will if you play long enough, but it is targeted more at newer players. It's also hopefully targeted to not get affected too much by the economy because in a trade league, there are just quite literally tens of thousands of these items. So without further ado, let's get started. So today, <clears throat> we've already talked about stuff like crafting your weapon um, and a, a few other things, but this is mainly going to be targeted at like more defensive options, right? I get a lot of people telling me that, you know, they kill Katava and they're running white maps and they're just brand new to the game and they don't know how to progress, right? They they only get like a chaos here and there and they don't want to dedicate themselves to a money-making strategy. So these are just some entry-level ways of getting into things. So um, here I have a bunch of essences. Now these essences are quite literally around one chaos each. They're not very expensive. You don't even have to use this tier of essence. You could use lower tier. You could use the tier that you find, right? The focus on this is entry-level, not end-game, not expensive, right? So what I have on hand here are a couple of fractured items. So to explain real fast, what we're going to be talking about are fractured items with, for example, life, dex, percent increased life regen, flat life regen, and any form of resistance, including chaos. So I'm giving all of these options because if somebody buys out all of X item on the market, you have multiple combinations of how you can do this. For example, if you have a piece of gear with a resistance fracture, like 43% cold res here, right? And someone buys out all the cold res rings, well, go ahead and look for fire or lightning or chaos or life or dex, right? So just to give you guys options. Also, the bases I'm crafting on here are not necessarily the best. These are just ones I had and I just wanted to make the video, right? So let's get started. Um, let's use gloves as an example. Okay, so first off, how would you go about doing this? So let me go ahead and help you. I guess we'll, we'll start with belt. So for example, with belt, all I did over here is I typed in a little squealy for fracture, right? And then I typed in life regen, and this brings up fractured life regen per second. You can set your item level, you can hit search. Item level is not super big of a deal here because you're not really spending a lot of currency on your gear. So don't worry too much about it. I mean, you know, the difference between an item level 70 and an item level 76 and 81 is one. It, it's the same currency, right? Same exact price. So higher item level, always the better in this instance. All right, let's get started. So these gloves have increased life regenerate as a suffix. So now you try to figure out basically what is it that you want. I just realized I actually bought these and they were okay. They have two res with fractured life regen, but irrelevant. Let's go. So say, for example, uh, you're telling me, Pox, I have no dexterity on my character. You know, I, I have this dex node allocated and I have this dex node allocated, but it's really annoying and I'm point starved. Okay, well, let's look at Shrieking Essence of Sorrow. Uh, other item, 43 plus 50 dex or 43 to 50. Why other item? Because the two previous ones are one handed and two handed, which means when I roll this, I am guarantee locking in two stats. I am guarantee locking in dex the fractured mod and look at that it even rolled lightning res so now i could actually just go over here craft life and my gloves are done right let's do let's use some other stuff though right say maybe for example you wanted chaos res really badly right so chaos res i would say would be a better option i think it's uh is it these ones right here yeah perfect right here so <clears throat> this right here on belt rolls chaos res and on armor rolls chaos res so let's go ahead and throw a few down. So I'll throw one here. We hit a shitty life regen with chaos res. Uh, again, poo poo mods. Uh, that's kind of poo poo mods. I mean, that's okay. That rolled a dexterity roll, right? Why is that dex okay? Because that 30 dex is quite literally a skill point if you had a dex node allocated, right? And then you just craft life and bam, you got a good pair of gloves. Let's look at this belt here. Let's say we, we want some more chaos res. Well, look at that. That belt rolled... Flash charges gain, life regen because it's fractured, tier 1 energy shield, tier 4 life, the natural chaos res, and it has a prefix open. If you know anything about prefix open and you do betrayal, there's two really good things we can do here. Number one, we could put armor. Normally we would do armor ES, but it has an ES roll. So even armor evasion is okay because it's like 250 armor on average. Or 
You could do more life regen, or you could put increased damage on your belt, which is really good. That's like a damage node on the tree, right? All right, let's look at like some accessories. So for accessories, you have some different options because essences apply a little different. So for essences, or sorry, for rings, I'm gonna try using, for example, like anger essences. And you don't have to do this by any means, right? Just an example. So this is like 30% increased fire damage. So since these are pretty cheap, the goal would be getting like fire damage and either another good suffix or fire damage and a good prefix. I always try to go for three, right? So here we go. Hint, I don't really care about. If that was dex, that would be great. Uh, fire damage with rarity. I mean, I guess if you want to be a rarity build, go for it, but that's not what I want. Uh, okay, we hit cold res. I mean, that's all right. It's not amazing, but it's all right. You craft life and it's done. Let's go again. Uh, nothing good there. I hit lightning res, but pretty low tier. We hit mono regen, not really helpful for us. Uh, don't need anything there. We hit nothing there. We hit 46 lightning res. That's great. That's T2 uh, fire res with our 30% fire damage with tier one lightning. And then you just craft life and your ring is done, right? Let's, uh, let's go on another ring, for example. Let's go ahead and use, um, we'll try shrieking essence of sorrow here. So we'll, we'll roll some decks. So again, we're looking for another good suffix in the, well, or prefix in this instance. 43 dex, 45 int with 35 energy shield. Will that actually sell? It might actually sell, but not that I really care. That you could put life on it, but who cares, right? Let's keep rolling. Uh, 15 cast res is kind of low, but it's still all right. Strength dex, ES, flat fizz. Like, there's a lot of good stuff popping up. This is okay, too. It had a life roll. So because it has a life roll, you can put, like, increased damage or something. Um, all right, so the reason why I only brought emphasis on like these pieces of gear is because of the following. So the chest piece, you typically are going to just buy pre-6 link. And if you're buying it pre-6 link, it probably will not have a fractured mod. So fractured mod for your chest piece, I would say is better for crafting it from the ground up like I did with my chest. So if we literally use the exact philosophy, I bought a fractured physical damage reduction chest. I used Essence of Loathing, which is located right over here, right? I was rolling to try to get uh, Chaos Res or Life Regen. Ideally Chaos Res because my chest piece is item level 81 and it can't get the good tiers of Life Regen. So I hit my Chaos Res. Literally hitting the Chaos Res meant the suffixes were finished. So to work on the prefixes, I used Eldritch Currency, which I believe it was the like Eldritch... Anyway, we don't really need to go in this. This is not really beginner friendly, but you get the point. I'm using the same philosophy on the gear where I'm working on the suffixes and then kind of going with the prefixes. But anyway, that's why you don't really go for the fractured mod right away on the chest because you would have to craft it from the ground up. The boots I don't really talk about because you're going to go for Legacy of Fury. Of course, apply the same exact fracture method if you don't have Legacy. Helmet, same thing. We are going to use Elder Mod and Elder Mod cannot be... You cannot have a fractured influenced piece unless... It's Eater and Eldritch, I, I think, or Eater and Searing Exarch, I think. Sorry if I was wrong there. I feel like that's how it works. Um, and then Amulet, I did not talk about because Amulet is tricky. For Righteous Fire, you really want to get an offensive Amulet, which would be like plus one all spell skills, plus one fire, plus one plus all, so like, you know, plus two, uh, very high dot multi, and those mods I just explained are pretty hard to hit. So if you buy Fractured of any stat that's not like dot multi plus one or plus one, you may end up rolling a very long time before you get something. And the point of these methods are to kind of just like guide you to getting started. So honestly, you could buy very cheap plus one amulets, not like this, obviously, but you could buy cheap plus one amulets or cheap dot multi amulets and go with it. Unfortunately, you're not always able to craft every piece of gear with precision, especially as a newer player. Um, yeah, so hopefully that fractured tip helped you guys out a lot. Remember, a big thing is you do not have to look for the perfect tier fracture. If, you know, you're looking at rings and 45 fire res costs a divine, but 39 fire res costs 5 chaos, well, you know, go with the 5 chaos one, right? 6 res difference is not going to make or break your build unless you're in a situation where it does. Anyway, that's pretty much about it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Sorry it came out a little bit late. I've just really been trying to focus on having fun in PoE. Um, this character is almost level 100. Then we are going to go start the SSF adventures. So 
Anyway, hope you guys had a lot of fun. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. If you did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash box. See you guys all later.